Well, never say never when it comes to reporting on The Last of Us 2. I thought yesterday's video might have been it for a minute. And then something pops up that I just really want to talk about. Notably this. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2 sales dropped 80% week on week in the UK. I would imagine those numbers are probably going to be similar in North America. I could be wrong, but I'd say it's a safe guess that they probably are the same over here. This is a significant sales drop. I got two stories, actually. We're going to get to Shill Media after this. But I want to start here because this is this is pretty interesting. So let's go over this article, and then I'll show you something else that's pretty funny. Uh, the Last of Us Part Two sold around 4 million copies in its first three days, which is, of course, largely due to reservations and stuff like that, so pre-orders and so on and so on. There was no denying the game was going to sell good. Uh, I said that the game was probably going to sell okay. I mean, there's a ton of people that aren't watching all of the YouTube stuff, and that's the only way you're going to find out about what happened with this game or how bad it or how bad and messed up the story is. You would only find that out if you're following YouTubers that cover this stuff because Shell Media will not talk about anything negative when it comes to this game. That's why every review is stunning and brave because they must lick the boots of Naughty Dog and other game companies. That's what they do. And that's going to be the second part of the story because one of the uh, employees of IGN decided to come out and run his mouth and he got BTFO'd pretty badly. But 4 million copies in its first three days, I'm not surprised by that. I don't think anybody was shocked by that because The Last of Us number one was a masterpiece. Naturally, uh, expectations were going to be high for this game, and it was, of course, going to do well in its first week. But as I've shown you and a few other people have shown you, pre-orders or uh, reselling of this game is through the roof, particularly in Japan. But anyway, with that number, the game became the fastest selling game for the PS4. Its sales, however, have dropped 80% week on week, which is a huge fall, but not unusual. The figures are for the United Kingdom as compiled by GFK. Keep in mind, these are based on box sales only and not digital sales figures. Although The Last of Us Part Two was the number one game last week, the game's sales dropped by a huge margin. The game has topped UK charts for two consecutive charts, but now it is likely to lose its place next week. As GameIndustry.biz mentions, although 80% is a huge fall, it's not unusual for a game that sold its well, sold so well for its during its first week to uh, compare the figures Uncharted 4, a story-driven linear game, saw a 78% drop in sales during its second week. Now, the thing there, though, is Uncharted also uh, is not a very good game. Uh, Uncharted 4, I should say. 1 through 3 are, are fantastic games. And then notably, Uncharted 4 was when Neil Druckmann, the the fantastic director and writer, came in and kind of ruined that game. Uh, I didn't really care for Uncharted 4. It was okay. It was okay, but 1 through 3 are, are fantastic games. Truly, uh, truly amazing games. But anyway, I don't think that comparing this to Uncharted 4 is very fair. Uncharted 4... Uh, is also not a very good game. So this is pretty interesting. I can't wait to see how the sales for this game hold up in week three. I thought, and I always said the full story here is going to be how does this game perform over the long haul? How is it going to compare to other games over the long haul? And I, my prediction has always been that it's going to start to kind of lose a lot of its steam I didn't think it was going to lose its steam this quickly. I really didn't. I tried to be a little more fair and say a couple weeks. I, I was more so predicting by the fall, no one was going to really care about this game anymore. And uh, wow, after one week, <laughs> the sales are that are that low. In fact, somebody pulled this up, and I thought this was really funny. It was almost beaten by a 3DS game. <laughs> a 3DS game almost beat it. So you can go down here. A bravely second end layer for the 3DS almost beat it. That's pretty, pretty fantastic, I got to say. I was kind of blown away by that. I didn't see that happening. But sure enough, that's where we're at with The Last of Us. 
part two. So I was also talking about shill media a little earlier in the video, and that's why I bring you to this page. Zachary Ryan, a director of editorial video at IGN. Okay, another IGN employee right here. So let's go over his tweets first, and then I want to tell you what I think about this. So he says, Dear Get Woke, Go Broke Crowd, The Last of Us Part 2 sold 4 million copies in its first week. That's more than that list of games. Please feel free to shut up forever. Okay. And then uh, he has one. He's not done yet. He's not done yet. Uh, last thing I'll say about The Last of Us 2 is I think it's pretty effing interesting that certain YouTuber dudes that have profited from slamming the game into the ground for months don't have the guts to report on sales after encouraging their fans to review bomb and talk trash all year. So a couple of things. I have never encouraged review bombing. Several other channels that I follow and, and know and would consider colleagues have never encouraged that. And most of us, including myself, have, have reported on the sales of the game. Here's the problem. And Geeks and Gamers said this in his video. This is the behavior of an internet troll. You're basically going around and reading thumbnails and headlines and not watching the videos. You're supposed to be a journalist. Shouldn't you have looked into that a little bit more? But here's what's really interesting, and this is uh, captured by Ryan Cannell. Uh, he asked the guy, he, he caught him deleting this tweet. So here's the tweet that got deleted. What DMCA claims? What DMCA claims indeed? Because if you were only following IGN or other mainstream websites that cover gaming, you would have no idea what the DMCA claims are because Zachary Ryan, director of editorial video at IGN, Mr. Blue Checkmark, uh, he never reported on any DMCA claims. And what's funny is he admits that he's heard of them. This is my mistake. I'll take the L here. I had heard about those claims but hadn't looked into it. But I, respect, I respectfully disagree with the last part. Here's the thing. He did know about them. He says he didn't and didn't look into it. He had heard about them but never looked into it. You are a video game journalist. If you heard about them, shouldn't you have direct, especially because you're a director of editorial, so you're kind of high up there. Uh, that tells me that other people at IGN have at least, finger quotes, heard of them. None of you thought to look into what that is? That was, for sure, the biggest story in video gaming news for weeks. Several huge YouTubers covered it. Yong Ye comes to mind. Probably one of the biggest video game uh, channels on YouTube. He talked about that. And you're going to tell me nobody at IGN looked into that. You're, you're lying. You guys all know what was going on. You decided not to talk about it and not to make a big deal about it because you don't want to upset Naughty Dog. And this is the problem with people that work at these video game websites. They don't want to upset companies. They don't want to get in bad favor with developers or anybody like that. And that's the problem. That's the problem. That's why you can't trust them. That's why you can't trust them. And uh, it's a shame. They used to be really good. But uh, just look how he comes out acting like this. Oh, they don't have the guts to report on sales. Which, you know, tells me that these people do watch our channels. They do look into things we're saying. They know what's going on. That tells me that they all knew about it. He was watching or at least reading headlines and thumbnails to the DMCA claims. And he never reported on it. Nobody there did. Not one mainstream gaming website ever talked about it. And that should really be a big story because it shows their corruption. And that's why everyone makes a big deal about the 10 out of 10s and stuff like that because they blatantly ignored that. And then they all gave the game stunning and brave reviews. It's just kind of funny. 
Will they talk about how <laughs> is IGN going to write up an article about how a 3DS game almost outsold The Last of Us Part Two at on its second week? Probably not. You won't see that coming out of IGN. I can promise you that. It's just funny to me. Talks about having guts to report on things. You guys don't have any guts to report on things. You're afraid to upset your corporate bosses over at Naughty Dog and Sony and Microsoft. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Massive sales drop. Shill's gonna shill. Anyway, uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on this. I like to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you would, throw a like up. Share the video. Make sure you still su- make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I will see all of you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.